been pretty warm the last few days. A lot of the snow's melted out of the mountain. And so we're pretty high up here. And we're just starting to get into some snow. I went as far as I could without daring down. These doggone stock tires just can't get too far without airing down with these things. So I just aired down to 20. And we're going to go on up here. Probably not too high because the snow's all soft and melty and it's not going to be great for snowshoeing. I don't know. we got to go up here and check conditions. So we're aired down. Going to head on up. Check our air pressures here. Yeah, we're down to about 20. Here we go. This is where things started getting really frustrating. And I was getting another lesson in how snow conditions make all the difference in your traction. As you can see here, I got past the spot where I was when I wasn't air down. But the tires were still having trouble gripping this snow when it was all warm and slushy. Now you can contrast the traction I'm getting here in this warm and slushy snow with this video clip I took like a month ago. And in this upcoming clip, this snow was twice as deep, but the temperature was well below freezing. So the traction the Jeep was getting when the snow was firm and cold is a world of difference from when the snow is warm and soft like it is today. Got up here as far as we snowshoed the other day. And then we started losing traction and digging in, so I aired down to 20 PSI. Let's see if we can get out of this. So when the snow is firm and cold, it's best just to go slow, and you can keep traction better when you do that. But when it's warm and slushy like it is today, even though you can air down your tires, the only way you're going to get anywhere is gun it like this. Even when you use momentum like I'm doing today, you can't get near as far up the mountain in these conditions. When I was up here a few weeks ago, this snow was over two feet deep, and I didn't have a problem getting through it. I could just ride on top and the Jeep wouldn't sink in. But now there's only six or eight inches of snow, and the Jeep could dig right down to the road surface, which is gravel here. But you're still limited on how far you can get compared to when the snow is deep, firm, and cold. Now the road right here heads up a pretty steep hill and turns a corner, which is the worst case, so this is as far as I'm going to get. So it's time to call it good and just get turned around. I don't want to get stuck getting turned around right here. A lot of times getting turned around is the hardest part of the whole trip. But this is a nice wide spot in the road and we should be fine here. And as it turns out, we get turned around just fine today. We got up here almost to where we have been getting when the snow conditions were better. Up here to the left, up the hill, about 100 yards or so. so. I'm gonna call this good right here. We're not getting any further, even if I put the chains on. The snow's just too slushy. We'll just goof around and build a fire right here and play with the dogs the rest of the day. Not worth putting chains on just to get another 100 yards, I'll tell you that. So I think what we'll do is take the dogs and just go down here in the woods, right down in there a little ways, build a fire, and uh, goof off the rest of the day. Oh, we got a fire going, burning some of this down wood. Playing with the dogs, throwing them their dummy. The Jeep's just right back over there, if you can see that. Just in the timber here where the snow's melted out. 